गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास थ्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अवर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फोर चैप्टर फोर इज विस्टम ऑफ सोलोमन ओके नाउ दिस चैप्टर इज रिलेटेड टू विस्टम ओके नाउ बेटा व्हाट इज विस्टम इट इज़ द एबिलिटी टू टेक द राइट डिसीजन एट द राइट टाइम सो व्हेन यू टेक द राइट डिसीजन एट द राइट टाइम दिस इज कॉल्ड विस्टम ओके Now next one is it is the knowledge of what is true or right coupled with just judgment. Okay, now when you judge what is right, what is wrong, that is wisdom. Now next one is it is equal to intelligence. So wisdom is equal to intelligence. No, a wise man will be intelligent, whereas an intelligent man need not be wise. Okay. Here we have an incident from the life of King Solomon, the wisest of all kings. So, here we will do the life of King Solomon, who was the wisest of all other kings. Now, beta, we will do page number fourteen of our book. All right. Now, I will read this chapter and explain you. Now, see that King Solomon was known for and uh, known far and. wide for this wisdom so as far king solomon was known for his wisdom although king solomon was rich and lived in all his splendor he was very considerate to the poor okay so he was very considerate to the poor One day, the minister brought two ladies in front of King Solomon. So, two ladies came to King King Solomon. Minister brought these two ladies. The minister was holding a baby, and said to the king, "Okay." So, minister said to the king, "Your Majesty, these two women are." neighbors so these two women were neighbors they are quarreling with each other so they were quarreling with each other each one is claiming that the child is hers so each lady was claiming that child is hers so i brought them here in front of you so minister brought these two ladies in front of king solomon for identifying the baby okay solomon looked at both of both women so solomon was looking at both the women's women they were of roughly the same age and color and could easily pass off as the mother of the baby so both the ladies were looking same in color and same in age so anyone can say that both the ladies are the mother of the baby he said tell me only the truth so king solomon said tell me the truth who is the mother of this baby so king solomon asked who is the mother of this baby both answered i am the mother that cannot be the truth so both were saying that i am the mother so king solomon said this cannot be the truth only one of you can be the real mother so only one is the real mother the other is lying so one is saying the truth and other is saying the lying he said he decided to question them in detail to bring out the truth so he decided that he was questioning to them in detail that who who is the mother of the baby so he will he 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 was trying to find out the real mother so in next class we will see that what king solomon did to find out the real mother okay
now today all of you read page number 14 of your book thank you